Let me just share a statistic. 87% of all AI projects fail. That's twice the failure rate of the traditional IT projects. AI is a, has huge potential, but you really need to have organizational foundations in place to be successful. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm Thomas, and today I'm excited to be here with my colleagues, Ben and Kayleen. Today, we are diving into Azure Essentials and how it will help organizations navigate their cloud journey and AI journeys as well. So thanks for joining me, Ben and Kayleen. Yeah, thanks for having me, Thomas. Yeah, great to be here. So Kayleen, can you set the stage for us a little bit and tell our viewers what Azure Essentials exactly is? Yeah, absolutely. Azure Essentials is a curated collection of everything that you need to be successful in the cloud. And it brings together a lot of things, including best practices, product experiences, reference architectures, skilling resources, uh, tools and guidance all in a single place. And it organizes it in a way that provides tailored solutions for specific use cases and business scenarios. It doesn't matter whether you're starting your cloud journey or if you're seeking to optimize existing deployments because Azure Essentials provides clear direction on how you can improve workload, resiliency, security, and cost efficiency. So this sounds like quite a few very important and helpful steps when people start with their or cloud journey. Um, can you break this down a little bit further and translate this a bit with what it actually offers? Yeah, so it really comes down to this. We know that digital transformation offers incredible opportunities for growth and for innovation, but it also introduces a lot of risk if it's not managed effectively. Azure Essentials helps organizations thread that needle, driving innovation while also mitigating risks. And then companies can then leverage their cloud and AI technologies more effectively without straining their budgets or compromising customer trust. Awesome. So let's talk a little bit about the risks you just mentioned. Uh, ben, could you tell us why having the right guidance is so important for organizations when they start or when they are in their cloud journey? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, you know, the reality is that the stakes are incredibly high here. Uh, when organizations try to navigate to the cloud or adopt AI, um, they need a, a, a roadmap. Uh, and if they don't have one, things go wrong quickly. Uh, let's, let me just share a, a striking statistic. 87% of all AI projects fail. That's twice the failure rate of the traditional IT projects. You know, AI is a, has huge potential, but you really need to have organizational foundations in place to be successful. Wow, this is like this 87% is really, sounds like a really crazy number to me. Yeah, it is. Um, but you know, the, the risks aren't limited to AI projects. Um, you know, let me take a real world example. Uh, when the Chicago uh, outage happened, uh, many of the customers who had ExpressRoute uh, to access their on-premise data could not access that data because they didn't, they hadn't configured their circuits for redundancy. Uh, as a result, uh, they did not have access to their data. So that is obviously a terrible situation we are in this. And uh, I guess this could have been prevented. Yeah, uh, you know, it could have. Um, now, the, the thing is that you, you, they probably we couldn't have uh, prevented the outage, uh, but losing data could have been uh, uh, mitigated. Uh, and really, with the proper guidance and implementation through Azure Essentials, organizations can maintain workload productivity even when there are these regional outages. Yeah, so I think that's a very important distinction here. Uh, so switching to a little bit more of a positive story, Ben, can you cheer us up and tell yeah. us a little bit more of a success story where proper planning made like a real difference? Yeah, sure, Thomas. Um, I, have, I have a happy one for you. Uh, there's a perfect example of this uh, with uh, Indi one of India's uh, leading airlines, uh, they wanted to upgrade their customer experience without increasing their support costs. So they decided to implement an AI chatbot using the generative AI services using Azure Open, a Open AI service. Uh, now, what made them successful is that they did their homework first. Um, they really began to think about 
what's some of Microsoft's guidance in preparing for their infrastructure? And what they realized is that they, the best thing to do is to, um, one, deploy a, an Azure landing zone, and then two, to uh, extend it for OpenAI. Uh, they also implemented Microsoft Defender for Cloud and Azure Sentinel to strengthen their UI um, security, or their, sorry, their AI security uh, posture. Yeah, this is fantastic. And I remember we did episodes on Azure landing zones, especially also with OpenAI uh, in a couple of shows before. So people, if you want to learn more, check out these episodes. So Ben, how did all the smart preparation actually pay off? Yeah, you know, you know, it, it, the results were, mar were remarkable. Um, so when the CloudStrike related outage occurred uh, in uh, 2024, uh, most of the airlines uh, were impacted. Uh, the only airline that wasn't was the Indian airline. And so uh, not only did they um, be able to mitigate that particular um, outage, but they also saw a great increase in their uh, one in in the way they went about handling their customer inquiries. 97% of them are currently automated. Uh, and then two, uh, they actually saved millions of dollars in support costs as they were doubling their passenger count. So it really was a, a, a really ex, um, incredible uh, case study. So, wow, this is actually impressive. And like both of these examples are really, really important to actually be aware of that it can go in both directions. Mm -hmm. So, Kayleen, what would you say are the key scenarios where Azure Essentials can help? Yeah, well, you know, the situations that Ben mentioned really just scratch the surface. Um, Azure Essentials provides that targeted guidance for every phase of our of a customer's cloud and AI adoption journey. And we've identified six common scenarios where organizations typically start their Azure projects. Those include migrating workloads, adopting and integrating AI, modernizing apps, and accelerating software development. So that really sounds already very helpful. And it sounds like we will hear a lot of more success stories in the future. Um, so for people who are now watching this and they want to learn more about Azure Essentials, where should they go? The best place to start is the Azure Essentials Resource Kit. It's very comprehensive. Uh, it contains all the detailed guidance that you'll need, all of the resources and the scenarios we covered today, and a lot more. Ben, Caitlin. This has been a such a helpful overview of Azure Essentials. Thanks for coming to the show and breaking it all down for our viewers. Yeah, absolutely, Thomas. This was fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. You can find all the links and resources we covered today in the episode description below. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments and give us a like. Subscribe to the channel so you get notified when a new episode drops. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on the Azure Essentials show.